U.S. Navy, EPA, and other health agencies held a public meeting in Horsham on May 24th to discuss the discovery of toxic perfluorinated compounds in area drinking water wells. Many area residents were dissatisfied with the information provided by officials. I absolutely believed when I got here it was going to be a room that was set up with chairs, that we would have a leader. There's not one leader here. Where's the leader? There's absolute chaos here. People are scared to death. They are smart, intelligent community residents that want answers. We get here, we're hurtled in here like a bunch of cattle. We have no place to go other than in masses of people to find out information. And after, and then we just talked to somebody and they said, well, we didn't really believe there'd be this many people here. Well, guess what? We're not idiots. After hearing Flint, Michigan's water problems, we're scared to death. I have cancer in my area, okay? A high cancer rate. I have heard it could possibly be the water. Here, we'll bring water to your house. You know what? I don't want to hear that. I want to make sure our water's safe. And coming to a meeting that is so disorganized, it absolutely scares me to think, if this is what they're doing with meetings, how can I be assured and feel safe that they're taking care of the water problems? Well, what's going on? This doesn't make any sense. This is totally, I'm, I walk out of here more scared than ever. So I think we need at-home testing for people who want to know what it is they're drinking. They deserve that. And they should also be funding, putting in private residential filters if that's what I feel is necessary and warranted given the situation. The Navy basically told me that, no, we're not going to test your water at home. There is no way for you to find out what it is you're drinking. We don't care. And no, if you want to do a system, if you think that that's what is warranted, then you're going to have to pay for it yourself. So basically it was a big, you know, and uh, they're not giving you any information. So when Lily was a newborn. We were making her bottles with the tap water um, with formula. So it's a little worrisome. We've, we've been up until this point drinking the water. So yeah, I mean, pretty concerned. Um, I had a daughter who's, she was born in 2008. And uh, she was born premature, preeclampsia, low birth weight, one pound, 13 ounces. So that's a huge concern for me. Uh, it's a mess. It's, people are annoyed. They're not getting answers. Um, you're pretty much, you know, I couldn't even get a piece of paper that had everything because they ran out. So, and trying to ask questions, you have to wait for, you know, you kind of have to just jump in front of someone and ask your question. But they're dancing around it. It seems like there's more to it than we're being told.